Hello Glam Docs, welcome back to another wig video today. Yes, it is an Amazon wig review. I hope you've been enjoying these. This is a wig similar to something I've tried before on here. It's a hat wig. This one has brown hair. Um, Cause I realize different companies have different quality of hair. So we're gonna give this one a shot. I have not taken it out yet to look at it. So I'm really excited about how this is. It is a little bit more expensive than the other hat wig that I tried by, I can't remember the brand of that one. If I can remember, I'll try to post the link in the description below to that video of me reviewing it. Um, I will be telling you that I will be doing a giveaway on my Instagram. So please go and check out my Instagram. Let me first get into what I am wearing today. I went very, um, on the light side of my makeup today. We got back from Las Vegas, so much fun. And my skin is, is still trying to get over all the sweat. The heat there in Vegas is totally different from the heat here in Texas. And you know, we, we get hot here. Also, please excuse my thumb and my finger. My nails kind of like chipped off. We're not, we're not gonna talk about that though. <laughs> On my face today, what I'm using as my primer is the NYX Angel Veil. I'm not a big fan of this primer, not a big fan. I'm trying to use it up just so that I can just be done with it. But you know how we roll here. If I spend money on it, I'm going to use it. My foundation, I'm using the MAC face and body foundation. This is in the shade C4. I really, really love how it is a sheer coverage. I don't like full coverage. This is so good for me. Because of my skincare, I can get away with sheer coverage. I will be doing a video on the skincare that I've been using for over a year that has saved my skin. That's another video. Moving on though. I did set my foundation with the Makeup Revolution Banana Light Powder. Love, love, love this stuff. That is really, really good. Um, for my lips, I did use this lip liner by Wet n Wild. Their lip liners are amazing. Um, it is in the shade Bear to Comment. I lined my lips, filled in the corners, and then in the middle, I used Wet n Wild Liquid Cat Suit Lipstick in the shade Nudist Peach. I am using the MAC Selena Lip Gloss. It is in the shade Hey Dad Pizza, right? Yeah, Hey Dad Pizza. Um, I have it like right in the middle of my lips. Um, for my lashes, I'm using these Ardell Professional Extension FX Lashes. Uh, the C Curl, I really, really love these. Lashes on the daily, I don't like them big and fluffy on the daily. I really kind of like the small and gradually getting bigger to where it's a cat eye on the not heavy. And I just, they're so natural and I really, really love them. They're much better than my natural lashes. And I'm using the CoverGirl Exhibitionist Uncensored Mascara. This is pretty good. I like the waterproof version. For the um, lash glue, I'm using the Kiss Strip Lash Adhesive with Aloe. This is awesome. This is so much better than Duo Glue in my humble opinion. So it's just me. For my contour, I'm using the shade Debutante from the Morphe Contour Palette. And then instead of doing a blush today to kind of give me like a sun-kissed look, I used Silhouette Boutique's Hazel Nut Highlighter. This is a beautiful, beautiful highlighter. And I just kind of put it all over my cheeks in place of a blush. I just feel like this is so good right now with my tan. It is so, so pretty. I don't know if you can get into this. Oh my God, look at that. Look at that form. It's so smooth. That is gorgeous. So, 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 so pretty. I mean, it's just, oh, look at that. Oh, I can't even, I can't even. And on my eyes, I just went really, really simple. And that's one of the great things about this palette is you can go classy or you can just go natural. So this is the Silhouette Caramel Palette. You've seen this a million times on my channel. And I went in today with Cream Brulee. My finger. 
I went in today with cream brulee on my eyelid and then on the inner corner I went in with vanilla. That's basically the rundown of my makeup for today. Let's get into the meat and potatoes of this video and start looking at the hair. Okay, so I got my little Amazon package right here in this big old package. Okay, oh. The wig came in this pink bag and then it came in this, just a plastic bag. The other wigs kind of came in like the little zippy thing. I really did like that, but that's okay. It's horrible. And this comes with a wig cap like this. Okay, it's kind of like the stocking thing. Okay, so in a net. Okay, the hair is brown. Okay. Ooh. Does have a little bit of a smell to it. All wigs tend to. Ooh. This is soft. This is really nice. Oh, wow. Okay, so the trick is not to be running your hands through it, Alita. Okay, so I'm going to put on a wig cap. Definitely not going to put that one on. I'm going to put this stocking one on. I like these kind a lot better than the netted ones. It's just my personal preference. All right. So now what I'm going to do is like the other one, it does have this. Uh, one of the things that you are gonna find is that the hair, like I haven't even put this on and there's already like hair in the strap. It's not a big deal. It comes out really easily. Okay. I'm trying to make sure that that's out of the way. So the stitching on here, um, you can definitely see the stitching as you could with the other hat wig. So yeah, the, the, the hat, similar stitching on the side. I have to say it's not as noticeable as the other hat wig. Like the stitching isn't as noticeable. So let me put this on. I'm just kind of tighten it. Oh, this is nice. Okay, so this is gonna be good if you got a bigger head. <laughs> because it's got a deeper inset of how you could pull down the hat. Now I like to kind of bend my brims. Now this right here, the bumpage that does go away, I noticed with my other hat wig that the bumpage, like as you have it hanging, it does um, go away. This, it will smooth down when you have it hanging or whatnot. <coughs> Excuse me. <coughs> Excuse me. Oh. Ooh, this is very nice. Oh, that's pretty. I don't. I don't feel like the shine is too much. I like. I wouldn't have to take down the shine on this at all. Oh, this is nice. Okay, I'm gonna turn around so you can see how the hair flows. Oh, this is really pretty. This feels this feels different than the hair that I have with the other one, the, the one with the black. No wonder it's a little more expensive. But I think it's worth it because it's such a quick thing to do. Oh, mom, okay. <laughs> I need quick. So I'm turning around. This is like my my little hair bun guys so don't pay attention to that it moves really good huh I like it this is nice I do I feel I feel like there is more bumpage than the last one but you can just kind of like work with that
This is really, I'm really trying not to touch the hair too much because like what, what you saw with my other one, I had to put gel and everything because I kept touching it. So I'm trying to be better about not touching it. This is, I like that. You know what? I like it in the brown. I like that in the brown. That's pretty. You know, because I have black hair. This is really pretty. Oh, the hair feels really, really soft. This is nice. Um, the hair on the other one, too, I believe is longer. So this one isn't as long, but I'm all for that. I am all for that. Um, I don't want it too long. This is so pretty. I love it. Y'all, this really, I know like in the last video, my husband, he kind of didn't like the grooves and stuff like that, but they really do go away. And it's just from the packaging. What can you do? Unless like, I mean, there's really nothing you can do because you got to fold the hair into the hat and in shipping, it kind of gets all funky, but. Mm -mm. All right, guys, that's really all that I can say. I mean, there isn't really much to say except that this is a really nice wig i just think these are so convenient especially if you're a mom and you just don't feel like doing anything it's to style your hair it takes so much more effort and so much more time so this is so convenient and definitely something that I'm going to be using. I really hope y'all enjoyed this video. I know it's short and sweet, but there's really nothing else to be said about this hair. The links will be down in the description. I am very impressed. Good job, Legend Hair. So like I said, I will be doing a giveaway for one of these hat wigs. If you'd like to enter, all the rules will be down below in the description. Please check out my Instagram uh, whenever this video goes up. So will the picture with me wearing this hat. That's where you will need to comment that you have done all of the things you need to do to be in the entry, which is subscribing to my YouTube channel, following me on Instagram, and then sending me a screenshot of you following my YouTube because YouTube doesn't let me see who all does it. And, um, just comment in the comments under the picture that you did it so that you can be entered into the giveaway. Just make sure to turn around those notifications. I will DM that person on Instagram and announce them. I do ask that you are 18 or older whenever you enter the giveaway. That will be a stipulation as I, as a parent, would feel like it was kind of weird for my teenager to be receiving something and it would freak me out that they gave our address to someone it's I don't that's a little mm -mm. so as a parent I can totally concede to that please be 18 and above whenever you enter my giveaway so yeah thank you so much y'all have a good day make sure to subscribe comment down below what do you think of this wig thank you so much for watching bye